stress is the fact that you have to keep everything in your mind. You have to remember. Okay? There's the deadline to give um, the problem sheets for economy, and there's the deadline for marketing, business plan, presentation, and there is this and there's that. And if you have that many things, your mind can't really process it well. It's you stressed out, especially if you have a job, let's say, you're afraid that one day the boss comes in and he's like, okay, so where's the report? Right, which report? Only one I asked you for last week, you're like, oh, I forgot. Okay, you're fired. Okay. So if you have a situation like that, it's really, really stressful. So what GTD is about is the idea is that you should have a system that remembers everything for you so that you can forget information instantly, okay? You learn something new, like, oh, I have to do a report on Monday. You put this into your system that you review every day, and once in a week you do the weekly review of this project. You put it into a system and you instantly forget it, and you can trust the system. What, what can be the system? It can be on paper, it can be on computer, whatever you want. You can trust the system to store the information. There are some procedures to organize it then, contextually, for example, you have um, you have some things to do on the phone, okay? You have to do this phone call and that phone call and this phone call. Um, so you just put it into the phone calls. And let's say you just jump into train because you want to get somewhere. You have some time, but you cannot work on your computer because you don't have internet, let's say. So you decide to take your phone and do the phone calls. And then all of these phone calls have different importance and different time. Okay, this one will take five minutes, and this one will take 30 minutes, whatever. So you look at your watch, okay, I have 20 minutes in the train, and you contextually choose this task because this fits your abilities in this particular moment. Okay. So we talked about this. Now, Americans wanted to know what is the most effective way of working. What is the best balance between work and entertainment or breaks or anything like that? How much should I work? How much should be the break? So they came up with 60-60-30 rule. It's not exactly 60-60-30 because if we go in detail, they say work for 50 minutes. Single-mindedly focused on the work. And to ensure that it's single-mindedly focused, you have a timer. You know what timer is? You set it for 50 minutes, and then it counts back. And when it's 50 minutes, it will be like a <laughs> There is this timer for computers, so you can download it for free. It's called Cool Timer. So you set it for 50 minutes, you work on one task. Then you have 10 minute break. Then you have another period of that's the same thing. Work for 50, and then you have 30 minutes break. And you have a small meal. Don't overeat because overeating will prevent your productivity because your mind, your body will have to process the food. You know, too much resources anyway will be involved. So you work twice for 15 minutes, 10 minute break, 15 minutes, 10 minute break, and then you take 30 minute break and eat some, and then you can go back and work again. If you're pressed for time, if you really don't have time because you have to study the accounting and economy and everything, use this. It's, it's huge. Scientifically proven to work really well. Okay, we're about to end our presentation because I have two book recommendations for you. And the first one is The Power of Full Engagement. And that's the book from where I took the theory about uh, the energies. And the full engagement, the fact that if you work, you should just work and you should not be in the gray zone and you should not be resting at the same time. And the book Getting Things Done. So this one deals with energy, and this one will deals with organizing things. Organizing all the input. Organizing all the priorities of what you should do by when and so on. So I'll just uh, show you the notes again. Just to see if you Okay. So this is our presentation, just to recap. It's not that much about uh, planning your time as it is about managing your energy because lack of energy kills productivity. There are ways to renew energy. A physical energy is to rest and to exercise. Mental energy is to have a clean focus and clean breaks. 
emotional energies to have pleasure and good relationships with other people, to sort of recharge your emotional batteries, to feel good about yourself. And the spiritual energy is about knowing your purpose. And to make this last, to make this permanent, to solve this problem permanent, you need habits that renew energy. Okay? New habits, and one day a week you should be totally off from any work or study. Go for a trip, for example. This is the best way to avoid computers and everything else. Just go for a trip. Okay, so the most important time management question is what's important? Um, you can work in lots of time, as we discussed, it's very productive. The two things you want to eliminate are distractions, those are your bad habits that lead you somewhere else that you want, and interruptions, so you want other people to leave you alone for a while when you work. And use stress free productivity. I just gave you little ideas for the book. Get the book, you'll know more about that. Okay, so thank you very much. Thank you. Good. Any questions? Good.